Welcome to your channel Parivartan Physics. Dear students, in this video we are going to learn how to find the focal length of given concave lens using convex lens, right? So we are going to use two lenses in this practical. We are going to find out the focal length of concave lens by using a, ben a instrument called as optical bench, right? Okay, so I will tell you the procedure as well as step by step how to uh, take the readings and all in this video completely. Uh, if you need the same practical in dual language in Canada as well as English, you can watch, uh, I have already uploaded a video on that, you can watch that video, uh, the link of that playlist is given in the description box. So please go to that, you will find the video there, right? Okay, without any delay, let us proceed with the practice. So this is the instrument we are going to use which is called as optical bench. It has totally three uprights, you can see here. So the first pin which is on this side, it is called image pin. And here we have a concave lens and then here we have a convex lens and then here we have an object pin, right? So these are the four uprights present on this optical bench, right? So this is how we are placing it on the optical bench. Okay, now let us go for the procedure step by step, right? Okay, okay dear students, uh, as we have already seen the four uprights of the apparatus, I will first take off this concave lens, right? So the first thing what you have to do is you have to keep only convex lens. See very first thing is we have to find out the rough focal length of the convex lens and what rough focal length f you get of this convex lens. At a distance of 2f you have to keep the object pin. This is object pin and this is image pin. We are going to observe all these things by sitting from this side. So that's why it is image pin and the opposite pin is called as object pin. Okay, so after finding the rough focal length of the convex lens, we are going to keep the object pin at a distance of 2f from the convex lens. This we know. Okay, after keeping this object pin at a distance of 2f from the convex lens, sitting on this side, adjusting the pin, image pin, we have to remove the parallax, right? I will show you in detail how to remove that parallax. I will, uh, each, every, each and every step I will show you. Okay, after removing the parallax, you will get the location of the image. You have to note down the location of this image. Right? So, note down the location of this image. After that, what we have to do? We have to insert this concave lens in between the image pin and the convex lens. In between these two, we have to insert it. After inserting that, you have to again observe the inverted image from this lens for sitting from this side. If the image due to convex lens, only due to convex lens has formed here, when you insert a concave lens here, at that time, this image will get shifted further. It will get shifted further. So by adjusting the concave lens as well as the image pin, you have to again remove the parallax. You have to again remove the parallax. After removing the parallax, you have to note down the position of concave lens as well as the position of image pin again. Right? So these are the three positions you have to note down. First position is image formed by convex lens only. Second position is image uh, formed by the convex as well as concave lens. And third one is position of concave lens. These three positions we have to note down and then we have to go for the calculation of the focal length of concave lens, right? Okay, so we'll go for the step-by-step -step procedure. Now let us find the rough focal length of the given convex lens. Here is the convex lens and here I have taken a screen. You have to move the screen away from the convex lens slowly up till the distant object is focused clearly. This method is called distant object method. So I'm focusing the window now. You can see the window panes on the screen. So when you move it very close to the lens, it will get blurred and when you move it away from the lens also, it will get blurred. So only at a certain point, it will be very clear, right? So where it is very clear, you have to just observe it. So here I will just check, uh, see, uh, at this point, it is clear. So now you stop moving that screen and take the distance between convex lens as the screen and the screen. That distance is called as rough focal length, right? Check now the image is clear. So here. Now we have to see the distance between the lens as well as the screen. Where is the lens placed? Lens is placed at 50th division. And where is the screen now? Screen is at 40th division. So how much is the rough focal length? It is 10 centimeter. So the rough focal length of this lens is 10 centimeter. You can note down the rough focal length now, right? Okay, next we'll go for the next one. We have found the rough focal length of the convex lens. It is 10 centimeter. The object pin has to be kept at a distance between f and 2f. I will keep it at 2f distance, right? It means rough focal length is 10 centimeter. I have to keep the object pin at a distance of 20 centimeter from the convex lens. 
so convex lens is at 50th division and i will keep it at 30th division right object pin i will keep it at 30th division so now the distance between them is 20 cm okay on this side sitting on this side we have to observe the inverted image of this in the lens we'll find the inverted image of this lens and by adjusting this image pin we have to remove the parallax as we have done in focal length of convex lens in the same way we have to remove the parallax after removing the parallax note down the position of this image pin right that is what we have to do now i will show you how to remove the parallax and what will be the position of the image pin that will be. okay now we are sitting on the side of image pin and we are observing the inverted image of the object so that green color object pin what you are observing that is on that side of the lens right uh, so it is opposite to us hence the image pin is visible inverted you can check here there is the object pin right so here is the object pin and here is the lens so the inverted image of that object pin will be visible in the lens like this so this is how the inverted image of the object pin looks and you have to hold your eye in such a way that the tip of the inverted image of the object pin should be visible should be at the center of the lens it has to be at the center of the lens right okay now it is at the center of the lens there you can find okay very first thing what you have to do is to remove the parallax and to find the position of the image pin very first thing what you have to do is this is the image pin you have to make a certain adjustments here i will tell you see there are totally three adjustments first thing is you can vary the you can vary the height of this image pin this is the first adjustment second adjustment is you can move this front and back you can move this front and back third adjustment is you can rotate this knob for the horizontal motion of the pin for the horizontal motion of the pin these are the adjustments we have to do okay we'll concentrate back on the tip of the object pin okay since there is a vertical distance between the inverted image tip and the image pin tip we have to raise the height of this image pin until its tip coincides with the tip of the inverted image okay now you can see the tips are getting coincided right okay now what you do you move your eye to the right side the tips will move to the left side you can see the tips are getting separated over there if the tips are getting separated then it indicates that there is a parallax present and the image pin is not at exactly at the position of the image move to the right side the tips are getting separated so here to combine those tips what you have to do is you should move this image pin either forward or backward okay. if i move it forward the tips are getting closed if i move it backward the tips are getting far apart from each other that's why what you do you move it further itself okay i'm moving it further and the tips are getting coincided okay now you move your eye again to the right side the tips will again separate and they will move to the left side again move it further the tips will get coincided so you can check the tips have got coincided at the edge of the lens now again check whether the tips are coincided at the center or no okay there is a slight difference there is a slight difference which you can adjust by using the knob as i have shown in so if you use that knob the tip will move horizontally like this okay again the tips are getting coincided now check on the right side of the lens okay so as we move the tips are coinciding and then they are moving they are not getting separated so like this the tips should get coincided and they have to move without getting separated then we can say the parallax has been removed okay after removing the parallax after removing the parallax now you have to note down the position of the image pin right so the position of this pin you have to note down correct okay now let us see what is the position of okay, we have removed the parallax and we have to now check the position of the image pin so this is the image pin let us see what is the position of the image pin see position of the image pin is see this is 65 66 67 68 and this is 69 it is at 69th division this is 70 right so it is at 69th division the image pin is at 69th division okay let us note it down okay, now we have noted down the position of the image pin now you have to insert the convex lens in between the convex sorry concave lens in between the convex lens as well as the image pin so i will insert the convex lens 
sorry, concave lens in between convex as well as the image plane. Like this, we have to insert it. Next, uh, sitting on this side, you have to observe the inverted image of object pin again, and you have to remove the parallax in the same way by using by adjusting the positions of these two. You can move image pin also, you can move concave lens also. By adjusting the positions of these two, you can find out the you can remove the parallax and you can find out the position of image as well as the concave. Okay, this is how I have inserted the concave lens in between the convex as well as the image pin, right? Okay, so setting on this side, we have to observe the inverted image now. I will show you that. Okay, you can observe the inverted image from both the lenses of the object which is kept on either side. See, the inverted image is a little bit blur, blur, blur now and it, uh, a little bit bulged, right? So, here what we have to do is, if it is very much bulged, what you have to do is you should move that concave lens towards you until you find it clear image yes now the image of that inverted image is clear right so like this you have to place the concave lens hold your eye in such a way that the tip of that inverted image is exactly at the center of the convex lens right you should hold it like this after holding it like that you have to now bring the tip of the image pin to coincide with the tip of that object pin as we have done while removing the parallax with respect to the convex lens. So like this we have to bring the image pin. Okay. So here I can say the image pin, tip of the image pin is coinciding with the tip of the object pin. Now if I move my eye to the right side as well as left side you can check the tips are getting separated. Yes or no? The tips are getting separated. So for this what we have to do, this is called parallax and for this we have to remove the parallax now. So to remove the parallax what I will do, I have to move the image pin as well as the object pin, sorry the image pin as well as the concave lens. See now I will try to move the image pin close to that. So when I am moving the image pin towards the lens, the tip of that image pin is moving close to the object pin, inverted image close to the tip of the inverted image. See now my image pin is touching the stand of the concave lens. So it is not further able to move it further again. That's why what I will do, I will move both of them together. I mean the concave lens as well as the image pin, both of them together I will move so that you can observe the tips are coming close to each other, right? So here the tips have got coincided. A little bit overlapping is there, you can adjust the height and you can say the tips are coincided, right? I have moved both the stands now. Uh, so here again you move out until the edge of the lens, until the edge of the lens. So they are coinciding, there is a slight difference, you can check it. Uh, again you move it a little bit further, they will get coincided. Okay, again you check it at the center now, at the center of the lens. Okay, at the center of the lens they are coinciding, check on the left side. On the left side they are getting a little bit, no, no, they are not getting separated. At the end they are clearly coinciding there, right, at the end. So check at the center again, okay, now at the center also they are coinciding and at the edges also they are coinciding. So now the parallax has been removed, right. So after removing the parallax, after removing the parallax, what we have to do is, we have to note down the position of concave lens as well as the image pin. What all adjustments I have done here? See, I have just varied the height of this image pin, the height of the image pin I have varied and I have moved these both, I mean the pin, image pin as well as the concave lens holder, these together I have moved forward, right. So these are the adjustments I have done and I have removed the parallax, you can check there, the parallax has been removed. Now you have to note down the positions of concave lens as well as the image pin, right. Okay, let us see what are the, okay, now let us see the positions of the concave lens as well as the image pin. This is the stand of concave lens and this is the image pin. So here concave lens is at, say this is 65, this is 64, right, I will show you clearly. This is 65 and this is 64. So it is the marking of the concave lens stand is here. So it is 64.2, right, concave lens is at 64.2 and let us see about the image pin. Image pin is here, right? So this is 70th division. So this indicates 71, 
right this indicates 70.5 so it is at 70.8 it's at 70.8 right so the positions of uh, concave lens is 64.2 and image pin is 70.8 right let us note down uh, so this is the first trial we have noted down the positions of uh, image one which has been formed only by the convex lens and then we have noted down the position of concave lens as well as the second image right so this is for the first trial using this we can calculate the focal length now we'll calculate the focal length the rest of the two trials i will do and i will directly take the readings right so the first trial i have shown you clearly rest of the trials i will do and i will directly come for the calculation now okay okay so i have taken all i have performed all the trials and i have noted down the readings here see uh, this is the ray diagram as we know first we had kept only convex lens and we had removed the parallax so first image we had got and the position of that image i1 we have written here right so these are the positions of the image i1 later on we inserted the concave lens in between the first image and the convex lens in between them we inserted the concave lens so due to concave lens the position of the image will get shifted further it will get shifted further and then we again removed the parallax and we noted down the position of second image as well as the position of the lens these two we have noted down clear okay so all the readings i have taken here the rough focal length was 10 centimeter so for the first trial we have taken like this see first trial i had kept the object pin object pin at a distance of 20 centimeter from the lens for third trial i have kept it at a distance of 21 centimeter right because uh, when i took it as 20 19 and 18 for 18 i was not getting the right answer that's why i kept it at 21 centimeter right 21 centimeter 20 centimeter and 19 centimeter i have kept the object pin from the convex lens so for those things i have got the results like this so the focal length will be negative only because u will be smaller than v that's why it will come in negative and focal length of concave lens is always negative so these are the readings i have got and the mean of this is 14.91 centimeter minus 14.91 centimeter this much is the focal length okay so actual focal length of that uh, standard focal length of that lens is 15 centimeter we have got a very accurate result for this okay that's how we have to perform this experiment hope you have understood and dear students if you like the content of this channel i kindly i humbly request you to please subscribe the channel and share the channel share the video with your friends please refer the videos and refer the channel to your friends uh, for your juniors as well as for your seniors right thank you so much please keep watching and supporting the channel and if you need anything else please put a comment in the comment box thank you we'll meet again in the next video